Hi everyone, my name is Saima Rahman, a student of business consumer behavior with Professor Pham. We are going to be doing simulation nine, which is market research. So first, choose your name and avatar image. Um, I'm just going to choose a random one. And so for market research, our mission goal is to feature desirability for luxury trend followers of at least 90% and market share for luxury trend followers of at least 85%. So on the left side of the screen, um, we have basically our um, spokespeople that will be helping us with each of the simulations. Um, we have Ian, our director of market research, um, which will be the point person. And then before looking at the available marketing data, Ian will spend time with you on how market research can factor into your success. So for the first part of the mission, um, we're gonna be looking at general data about the luxury market to get a sense of what background information is available. Uh, and this will provide a foundation for looking further into more detailed data to support our decision-making process. Okay, so the luxury goods market is both very large and very profitable. Our backpacks target the luxury trend follower market segment that makes up a part of the entire luxury goods market. The overall luxury market exceeds a trillion dollars. And these are each of the global expenditures. Um, you can see that luxury cars make up a very big part of the global expenditure. Yes, the United States makes up a very large amount of the global luxury goods market. So now we're going to think about what factors, um, the factors that you think um, are like the most important to luxury buyers. Um, so is it either brand, price, quality, or label? Um, so definitely um, you have to keep in mind what someone that wants to buy luxury goods would want to consider when um, they're trying to Buy something. So I'm going to choose brand because I think, you know, brand might be a very important consideration to luxury buyers. Um, and then I'm going to hit submit. And yes, that's correct. The value of a brand is built on many elements, including perceived value. So now we're going to click on the segment tab and take some time to navigate through each market segment. And we're gonna compare the data in each segment with the luxury trend follower market segment. This represents the kind of primary data that is typically collected on customers. In our case, we are going to focus on backpack buyers. So we're already on segments tab. Um, we're going to navigate through other segments. This is the luxury trend follower segment. There's also commuters. Um, you can see that 
um, their demographics, preference, price preference data, um, compared to luxury um, and followers, some of these categories look a bit different, especially the market size, which is a lot more than there are of luxury buyers. Outdoors, um, there are different comparative differences. Um, you can see for preferences, they have a lot of different di different preferences, especially capacity and waterproof features of a backpack are much more valued. For school children, it is also very different. Um, the market size is a lot more bigger um, for a lot more um, school children that usually consume or like buy backpacks. University student, and then we have a summary of all the different things um, that you can look forward to. Um, and we can see that, you know, luxury trend followers actually has the smallest segment size because in reality, there aren't that many luxury buyers. So now if we look at the demographics first, what is the total market size for all of the segments combined? So that means you would have to add up all different segments and see um, what the total amount of like buyers there are for all of the segments. So in total, um, if you add up all the segment sizes, it can make a total of 98,000. Submit, and yes, if you add up all of these um, segment sizes, it'll make a total of 98,000. Now we're looking at the growth rate of the entire market's total, which is 4.07%, which of the following segments has the highest growth rate. We can see that the highest growth rate, um, when you compare all of the different segments, it would be luxury trend followers. Yes, it has the highest growth rate at 7%. Okay. So the one disadvantage that this segment has is, although it has the highest growth rate, it also has the smallest market size. Up at only 5,000. So with the small market size and purchase behavior, why would anyone target this as a segment of interest? So. It can be that the growth rate is at the highest at 7%, where the average selling price provides a lot of opportunity or is likely to have fewer competitors interested in this market. So let's try to choose um, the average selling price, which can provide a lot of opportunity for there to be growth in this market. Yes, so the high selling price should allow for high gross margin with each of the sales. This in turn will allow for good profit since a higher gross margin per luxury trend follower sales and even a smaller unit volume should still allow for a very generous profit. And now we have to think about which of the two of the four pieces of market data provided will be the most important towards property vetting your backpack. So we have to think about the different qualities um, when it comes to a backpack, whether it would be like the features, the purchase behavior, the demographics, um, or the price preferences. Um, and for this case, I would say that, you know, given that it's a luxury item, you would be focusing a lot on price, which makes up the fact that it is luxury and the features as well, which makes up the quality of the luxury feature. 
So we will choose price preference and feature preferences. And yes, feature preferences tells you what customers value the most and price preference data provides the guidance on the aggregate value for each of the segments. Be aware that there is one competitor that is targeting the same luxury trend follower segment that you are, so that you are not alone. You will need to be especially careful when making choices in the backpack and pricing areas. You have to remember that we have two goals. The first is to have a feature des desirability of at least 90%. This means that the features of your backpack must align very closely with the preferences of the luxury trend follower. Segment. Second, you must generate a market share of at least 85%. You have one competitor who is targeting the same market as you have. And then when you attain your future desirability goal um, with settling a correct price, it's really the most important in winning market share against your main competition. So now we're going to select on the backpack tab and add any options that we believe will align with the needs of the luxury trend follower segment. You can make any selection in each of the available categories. We have shape, straps, material, features, and color. These choices will drive your future desirability. And you notice that as you make these choices, your backpack stats and production costs over here will change. Looking back, we're going to look at the preferences and see what kind of desirability that the luxury trend followers want. So we click on luxury trend followers and see that they have different percentages of the preferences. And we will follow this to match the feature desirability. And after you have added any options, you have to click on the price tab. Um, and then you can notice as you move the price slider, costs and the margins available distributor profits margins change as well and you remember you have one primary competitor in the luxury trend follower segment as well so let it, let's try to see um what is going to be the preferences of luxury trend followers and see if we can create a backpack based on those preferences so we have capacity, 31%. We have comfort at 62%, which is the most um, that they're trying to look for. So we, we would want to try to find a backpack that has a significant amount of comfort. So we have the teardrop rucksack, which is our current backpack with a comfort level of six. We are gonna keep it at this at this point and see if there's other things that we can use. We are gonna try this thin spaghetti strap see that you know remember that our capacity is 28 waterproof is waterproof and capacity are the two second highest features um the preference and with comfort at first Let's try luxury um, to see what kind of preferences there are for that. Um, capacity, durability, comfort.
And we can see right now that we have completed one of our mission goals um, with a future desirability for luxury trend followers of at least 90%, but our market share for luxury trend followers of at least 85%, we have not achieved as yet. That means that we did not unfortunately realize our goal um, and will provide us with some feedback to allow to make some adjustments to the strategy. So, Ian says, did you receive or did you reach your future desirability goal of 90%? If not, the key is to view under segments and then select feedback. Market share goal is something that we have not achieved. Your pricing may need adjustment to attract customers. Click on each queue and then click on the position map to see how you compare to the market. East West is the company you need to beat here. You can find more information on their product under the competitors tab. So first we'll click on each queue. You see that our pricing may need some adjustments. We will be changing up the pricing to see how we can create a specific amount of profit. Confirm the changes. So because we did have at least 85%, we had 86%. That means that our market research, market share for luxury trend followers, has been completed. And this simulation is now over.